Welcome to the second video in this series. It's been about a year since I last did the video, first video, but I have learned a lot since then, and I would like to restructure the code from the first episode and continue the series. So, first thing I'm going to change is I'm no longer using carrot, and I'm just going to go with um, idle, the built-in one with Python. And first, with the actual code, on the right side, I have the start.py that I did in the first episode. And on the left is going to be the one that we change. So I'm going to start off doing Ooh, that's all right. The import part again. Sorry if it's a bit slow. It's because I'm recording. But um, import. I'm also downloading something. So, uh, no. <laughs> Import random as well as OS, but this time we are not going to put in time because we are going to import it here. So from time, import. Sleep. Sleep. Hopefully the next video will be better <laughs> with lag time. .py imports and one thing is we're going to uh, structure things differently. So this whole file is going to be for characters. So, the first episode need just be like an info on what's happening. <laughs> no, I'm changing a lot. But I don't want to start a whole new series. Character. Um, and I feel like I went way too ahead on the last episode, which is a huge thing I would like to change. So I know I've gone through part of putting this stuff here, but we are not going to do that on this episode. So for now, self.name. And if I didn't explain it in the last episode, self will make it only stay with that instance and not any other instance. I'm like just not global. So the name will be a string, so we can say he will, uh, he will be the hero of the game. And he's going to have health point. Uh, um, he's going to have health points. And we'll just set that to 20 for now. And he has max HP. And, yeah, we'll add self.level equals one. And yeah, self.xp equals zero. And self.max xp will equal. One do twenty. 
So that's going to be our character for now. He can't die yet. He can't level up yet because we are just going to save this. Wait for my currently slow computer to go up. And do a new folder and put uh let's see. Eh, we'll do player engine. So we'll save it in there. And then name it player engine. Save. But we, to be able to access it, and it took me quite a while to figure this out. But uh we need to save a blank file called init.py. Turn that into a module for us to access. So now that we have our player close that and close that. Might slow it up a bit more. Or no, speed it up. Uh now let's create a basic enemy. So let's say import and done. This way is OS and then from time import sleep dot py imports. and these that py imports are mainly gonna be for um like adding a item engine and allowing the monsters to access it so they can drop items and things like that. But now we're gonna create a monster. And with my game Worlds Online, it recently shut down because I'm kind of was done maintaining it. Um, we are gonna start with a troll. So first, you're gonna do class troll. Now I can guarantee we're not gonna. This is not a good idea for a full game, but this is just to set up an example that works. And then we'll build off of that and change things to make it run better and make it more interchangeable. Just, that's a word. Um, so we will create our troll. And self.name. Self he is the mighty troll. Um, self dot. We'll get ten HP. Self dot. Max HP. Ten. And self dot. XP. Uh, Give them five, shall we? Now for this one, I am going to add a method for just a future example, probably in the next episode. Um, what the heck is wrong with this? Let's see if now Microsoft wants to do other stuff. Um. This one we will call death self. Now, since it's going to be printing for the user to see, we have to address the user like this. You killed the 
but and uh, I'll add it for this one. This will be more part of the other <laughs> type of monster engine we'll make, but uh, it'll work for now. And then to self dot name variable, and it will replace the percent s part. Okay, sorry for the uh, little pause there. I had to fix something. So now we would put you killed the troll, and now you gain XP. Now the percent D is just like the percent S, except it will take an integer. So we will put an integer. Okay, self dot xp. Now we don't really have a way to add the xp to the player yet. Or actually, yeah, we do. <laughs> we'll just put player here. Now it's not reflecting to that, it'll be when we call it death in the game. So now we'll do player oops player dot xp plus equals self dot xp it is well my computer's being very slow today so that will do it and when we call death It'll be, say, troll equals troll. That creates an instance of it, and then we can access all the variables. So then if we do troll dot death, we can't just do that. Now we have to put player. Player in it, and that fills that player. But, say, it would mean player equals character in it. Okay, so that is what that would be. But say we say guy. We just call guy as the character class. Then you would need to put guy right there. But that has to say player and it will all still work as a separate variable. Now we can delete all this. Now we are just going to save it. And we'll. Oop. No, we want to go back. Eh. For now, we will put it in the player engine. So we'll do monster engine. save it there. Okay, that'll be it for this video. I hope you like it, and please like and subscribe. Uh, you can comment if you want me to slow down, or what you want me to cover in the, these tutorials, or what you want me to add to this RPG game. Thanks for